you're watching Fox Tech, and today I'll walk you through how to use Stage Manager on the iPad. Let's get right into it. First, open the Settings app and tap on Home Screen and Multitasking. From there, you'll see the option for Stage Manager, but keep in mind, not every iPad supports it. Uh, you'll need a newer model like an iPad Pro with an M1 or um, M2 chip. Also, make sure your iPad is running the latest version of iPadOS, otherwise Stage Manager might not even show up. Once you find it, tap Stage Manager and toggle it on. You can also activate it quickly by swiping down from the top right corner to Open Control Center, then tapping the Stage Manager icon. Once enabled, your main app window will stay centered, and other recent apps will appear in a sidebar on the left side of the screen. It's a bit like using a desktop where you can have multiple overlapping windows. You can tap or drag apps from the sidebar to switch between them or to create a multi-app workspace. You're able to resize or move windows by dragging the corners or the top edge, which gives you a flexible way to organize your screen. To add more apps into the same workspace, just pull them in from the dock or the app library. If it ever feels too cluttered or you prefer the standard multitasking setup, you can turn off Stage Manager the same way, either through Settings or Control Center. Personally, I still lean toward the traditional multitasking tools like Split View and Slide Over. Stage Manager tries to bring a Mac-like experience to the iPad, but for most users, the simpler setup might actually be more efficient. Thanks for watching Fox Tech. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more iPad tips. See you later.